Hey everyone, I've restarted this video so many times because it is now 3 a.m. where I am, but I want to get this done before I wash off what little beat is left on my face. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a better night than I am. My name is Tia. I'm a full-time fan, a part-time blogger slash vlogger that has a love of all things internet, which is why I'm on it. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to check me out on my website or check out my business stuff, it is all in the description box for your convenience. So check me out. I have over 800 blog posts about all kinds of things, but many of the same things that I talk about over here are over there. Just explain differently, sometimes with some extra resources. So definitely check out the blog if you like what I'm talking about over here. By the time you see this video... I should be working on the next version of this particular kind of product because I bought niacinamide from two different companies. I'm reviewing one today. By the time you see this, I will probably be filming the video for the next niacinamide product because I am about 70% done with this. This is Revolution Skincare London's Niacinamide 15% Super Strength Formula, which also has zinc in its formulation. Now, I'm going to put the link in the description box to this product. But as I film this, exhausted as I am, I remember it costs 14 US dollars and it is currently sold out. I hope that by the time this goes live, they would have restocked this and made it available for purchase online. If they have it though, give them a little bit more time. They've been out of it for a while. I did not purchase this online. I went to Target in person and saw it because I didn't even know Revolution Skincare existed. I, I knew about Revolution Beauty, which is the parent company, but I did not know about this particular branch of the company. Okay, so niacinamide. I've reviewed a different niacinamide product by Pacifica that I, you know, it was okay. I will link that overhead so you can check it out. Um, but I'm a huge niacinamide fan. I love it because I am acne prone and just quick details about my skin. I am sensitive, acne prone, and leaning toward oily. I'm combination oily skin. So yes, niacinamide is a staple in my routine. I use it morning and night after cleansing and toning. So this is something that is a foundational piece of my skincare routine. So when I saw this 15% amount, I was intrigued because my normal formulations are 10%. I saw 15% and I figured is more, more, or is less more? We'll see. So I bought it, um, again, $14. The one by Decium is about $6, roughly. Um, so this costs more, but if it works better, it could be worth it, right? So let's quickly talk about Revolution Beauty, the company that makes this, and then we'll go into how this performed. So Revolution Beauty used to be Makeup Revolution, unless I'm having a Mandela moment. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the company. I knew them for eyeshadow palettes. That's what I knew them for. They branched off into skincare sometime in the past, maybe two years, at least in the US. They just recently rolled this out. This is not a longstanding brand um, as far as the skincare arm of this goes. So I didn't know that they sold skincare, but based on the packaging and what they're offering, they're coming for the ordinary slash decium's coins. <laughs> they are offering actives with very little additional fluff, sleek packaging um, for still fairly reasonable prices because even though this is more than double what the ordinary charges for a similar formulation, it is a higher percentage of the active. So maybe that's where things are balancing out. But as far as the products go, very similar branding. And the only thing that's different is that they kind of inverted it a little bit because the Decium has white labels with black lettering. This is a black label with white and gold lettering. Funny how they did that, right? 
So again, 15% niacinamide. I used it on my face just as I did the ordinary morning and night, every day for the most part. I skipped a couple of days because, you know, sometimes I'm just a little lazy with my skincare. Um, what I noticed was that when I skipped, um, I was a little more, um, my skin was quicker to react. And this might just be um, coincidence. This may have nothing to do with the product. But my skin broke out a little faster than when I use my slightly lower concentration and skip a day or two. So ultimately, when I skip a day or two, I usually don't see any any effect on my skin but this time around i did notice it however it might be because i was dealing with a little more stress too right so may have nothing to do with the product i just noticed skipped a couple days or and not the full day like i skipped an application here and there and i did break out i actually had like the first actual pimples that i've had in quite some time. Very interesting. Um, I was a little distressed, but my skin responded very quickly to getting back onto my routine and not missing a beat. 15%. Do you need it? I don't know your skin. Uh, for me, 15% is really not necessary. Um, a higher concentration for me really didn't seem to make a difference. I didn't notice that my skin had a drastically different texture or my pores, because it is supposed to be a pore refining serum, I didn't notice that the appearance of my pores had changed any, simply because I went up five more percent in niacinamide. I do like the packaging. I do think it looks really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I did not see where this was significantly better or in any way an improvement over my 10% formulation that I usually use. Also, this does not say on the label that there is a 1% zinc amount. I'm assuming it is because they have a similar product that is 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. And on the um, Revolution Skincare website, it says this is the same product, but with more niacinamide. So I'm assuming the zinc percentage has not changed, but um, possibly, I don't know. I don't think so though. I think it's still 1% zinc, 15% niacinamide. Uh, so it does say super strength formula. Who I think this could work for, someone who probably has far more inflammatory and acne, someone who's acne or blemish situation isn't currently under control. I came to this product with my blemishes under control and pretty minimal non-existent. Um, if you are in an active breakout constantly, or if you're currently experiencing an active breakout, maybe not constantly, but maybe you're currently experiencing it. Maybe it's out of the ordinary for you. Um, no pun intended talking about the ordinary, but maybe this is unusual for you to have an active breakout. This might be helpful because the extra percentage might be beneficial in getting things under control. As far as maintenance for me, I don't need an extra 5%. And for me, the 5% doesn't justify the eight or so dollar difference between this and the ordinary slash Decium's product. Would I use it again? Sure, if I got it on sale and it was convenient, yeah, I'd use it again. Um, but it's not something I would seek out because for my skin, this active is not... Um, this percentage of active is not compelling enough. I didn't see enough of a difference in my skin to justify purchasing this again and again. So my thoughts, if you like their products already, go for it. Um, try it and see. Um, this is just, you know, me suggesting. If you already are in the world of revolution beauty and this is your thing, go for it. But um if you're part of the ordinary slash decium family, is it worth jumping ship? Not in my opinion. It's just an opinion though. Um, I will continue to use it. Um, as I mentioned, I have uh, anywhere from 
20 to 30 percent left i'd say roughly 30 percent left so this should be gone in the next two weeks per my personal calendar which means again by the time you see this i'll be working on the next bottle of product and that should be interesting because that's by a completely different brand and i'm really curious to see how that works but i had to try this first for 14 dollars the extra 5% of niacinamide isn't worth it for me. But, you know, do what you want. Try it if you like niacinamide and you want to see if it's a difference. If you're in a much more active breakout state or if you're someone whose skin is a little bit more inflamed in general, it might be worth the investment to try it. It's still affordably priced and it's still, again, vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and it doesn't have a lot of additional products in here, um, or not additional products, additional ingredients in here. You can look at their website, links in the description box. You can check it out to see if there's anything in there that might be a problem for you. There were no problems for me. I just noticed that um, the extra 5% didn't make a difference, but good product. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong with the formulation. It performed and appeared identical to the ordinary. I noticed no difference. So that's that. I hope I can go to sleep now. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> but in any case, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic day as you watch this. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.